What is good, everyone? Welcome back to Nefarix Plays Near Replicant, episode 19. We left off last time as we're actually uh, fishing. For some good old. Uh, I'm glad I'm, I'm impervious to that. Look for some uh, rainbow trout. Keep going though, uh, let's do the word. Seven, I thought I needed ten. That's fine. What is this? Another rainbow trout. Oh, oops. Can I redact this? I'm just like picturing myself if I was actually fishing IRL. Like I could totally see myself just falling into the water. From how clumsy I am. There we go. Nice broken new record. Let's see. One more. Perfect, okay. And that's the quest. All right, so let's go ahead and move up to the next area. I wanted to go ahead and check on my weapons. I don't think I really have anything as far as payment goes. Uh, but you know, going to the junk heap would not hurt whatsoever. I'm just gonna go ahead and avoid all these, uh, these miniature shades. Let's go for gold here. Let's go ahead and check out the weapons. I'm kind of curious to see like what I can level all my beast bane to. He doesn't talk about mom as much these days. Jacob? Yeah? Can 
Can you read me a story? In a bit, okay? I've got a customer right now. How can I help? Need some work done on your weapon? Uh, let's see. So what does Beast Bay need? Iron ore. Complex machine. Titanium alloy. I could do a lot of this, actually. Especially if I got some more iron ore. I'm gonna start Come harvesting. Back. What was the love letter one? Uh... Unusual looking hat. Rice, mushroom. I got that. Village chief. I gotta head to Airy Village real quick. Actually, how do you sidestep? Basic controls, gathering, no. Sidestep attacks. Oh. Let me try this. over here. Yeah, why did all the shades disappear randomly? Let's go ahead and head up the board. I haven't scalvage from that thing. Alright, 
let's go ahead and deliver this love letter real quick. And that will probably do the trick. I think it's located up here. It's right next to the village chief. A myth is like a cool concept to me. It kind of reminds me of a uh, Shadow Realm. I like how they did that just to it's over. It's all over. help little kids yeah, or whatever be able to deal with it. The death. Okay, so it said right next to the village chief. He's a good person, once you get through all the weirdness. Is this her? This must be the place the floor. You think she stepped? Well, perhaps she moved. It doesn't look like this happened. Well, no point hanging around. Shame she wasn't there. Indeed. Yes, you were right, Vice. They should have stuck together. I find it difficult to determine who is right at this point. In any case, we had best return to him. a spoil. I'm not going to dive into that. But I wonder if there's going to be like a point in time where... Whoa! That came out of nowhere. Good. Okay, I guess not. Do worse. Had a flower? This is a Frisia, the same flower we were delivering to the woman. Uh oh, maybe a scroll. Elaborate machine? Material hunter? You've collected 50 types of raw materials. Dude, I almost got two more hits, I would have popped off. Uh, okay, so that's fine. I don't know, I guess we'll go up to the main quest area, see what's going on over there. Go ahead and check it out here. Let's see what we're doing. 
down here. Voices all of a sudden. Whenever I can get the combo. like the, the damage output I'm doing now. God, what's the name of that achievement where you ride the poor? Defeated. I wonder what that means. Man, those should have been hidden achievements. It sure is quiet here. Such silence bodes ill. Lift. There's trouble on the way. I'm certain of it. You know, a little optimism now and then wouldn't hurt, Vice. Such cheek. <laughs> beware, beware. The words. The words? Contagious words. Those who dream. Those who. Hold a moment. There is a strange new sensation in my mind. Are we learning? Are we getting introduced to Grimmar or Noir? It is not quizzical. What's going on? Perhaps we should start by asking that. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. If you can speak to me, I must have caught you in my dream. In your dream? A dis mysterious disease called a death dream has spread across the forest of myths. Those who caught it was cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. The village mayor had determined the death dream was spread from person to person by spoken words, but before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. His mouth twitching now slightly. see here. Are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes. I think you have. In other words, we've come... Before Wise expanded with rage. Ridiculous. Preposterous. Completely unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. That's just how the death dream works. The polite, the merely was trying to bust the books remarks. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool. The mayor twisted his mouth into an embarrassed grimace, then quickly changed the subject to who Nefarix had seen since the coming Something of the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation, a specific word, some. Farx and Weiss racked their brains but couldn't find no easy solutions. They were simply too many words to consider, too much random chatter, too many meaningless Grimoire does not engage in meaningless conversations. 
mere suggestion that Weiss chose his words carelessly seemed to sting his pride. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated gas bag of a narrator. <laughs> it has demolished it utterly. Irritated Weiss looked skyward as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already. The anger created by his harsh words bled over to Nefarx like a contagion. Wait, said Nefarx suddenly. Did someone just say contagion? Yeah, I believe so. What of it? Well, the villager told us to watch out for contagious words, right? They merely leaned forward with renewed interest, pushing the startled Weiss aside in the process. He must have said something, right? Asked them, right? Some specific combination of words. What was it? It was about dreaming or something that dreams or what the hell was it? A sheep? Cried Weiss, suddenly blurting out the first thing that popped in his head. The others stared at him for a moment before sh slowly shaking their heads after a few more minutes of thought. Nefarx's face suddenly lit up. I remember, he said, those who dream, that's what he said, I'm sure of it. As this, the mayor produced a thick sheaf of papers from his pocket. He flipped through them, nodding his approval at Nefarx. That sounds right, and he said it. As a stray sheet of paper flooded the ground, my notes also mentioned something about that. But it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. Amir shook his head, his worn pencil stub traced lines on a lone piece of paper. For the last month, I've been doing nothing but study the disease we call death dream, he said. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect these from whatever comes along, but I never expected a couple of outsiders to start entering people's dreams. Amir paused, a grimace crossing his face. I should probably be taking notes on something. Weiss immediately fired back. I applaud the force of will it takes to research such a disease in your dreams, but perhaps we should bend your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. The mayor's hand tightened around his pencil, snapping off the tip. I've tried to escape. From the very first moment I realized I was locked inside my own dream, I've been looking for a way out, but I don't think it exists. I mean, this is my dream, right? If there was an exit, I'd know about it. He paused for a moment, his eyes in focus, staring at nothing. My village was beautiful, he said. No one in particular, and it was filled with the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. But once this disease took a whole thing's change, it's like someone took a sponge and soaked all the color out of all our lives. I just want us to be whole again. I want us to be free. And I won't stop trying until it happens. Farex nodded in agreement. Huh? Wait a second. I didn't nod. Look, if we could be in any helps, said Nefarix, just ask. Now hold on, I did not just say that. Silence, cried Wes. The Grimoire locked from the forex to the mirror and back again, his face filling with confidence. Grimoire Weiss's face is always confident, thank you very much. I see your mirror. You told us that, that nothing can exist in this dream without you knowing of it. But yet you seem surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? The mayor slowly raised his head, realization dawning on his face. Oh my god, he said, you're right, you're right. I had no idea you were coming. The human imagination is a limitless engine, said Weiss, and dreams are the fuel. If you can imagine an exit, then it must be so. With your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you, said the Nair. I don't know how to re repay you. Payment is not required. We are as eager as to be done with this place. The mayor suddenly felt as if he could breathe again. He almost for forgot what it was like. Good luck, you two. He called at the departing forms in the Farx and Weiss. We're all counting on you. As Nefarix, is this... I heard there's a 45-minute reading bit in this game. I wonder if this is it right here. <coughs> um, okay. As Nefarix slowly faded into the misty forest, the mayor was struck by a sense of deja vu. I saw this man once before, he thought, but where? Nefarix's mood darkened as he trudged through the forest hours earlier when the beauty of the place was still a new thing. He had been confident they could get, get in, find the section, and be home in time before dinner. But the deeper they went, the more the forest closed in and around them. The mist made it difficult to see more than a foot in any direction. And moss-covered rocks seemed determined to twist his ankle. More than once, he'd been forced to set himself on the rough bark of a tree, and his hands now left small trails of blood on everything he touched. Additionally, Weiss was proving to be a spectacularly poor traveling companion. Unhindered by either terrain or physical effort, he spent most of his time urging the Farks to pick up the pace and crumbling their slow progress. Finally, after Weiss muttered something about legless turtles being more adept at navigating the environment, the snapped. 
Okay, Weiss, well, cram it for a second, would you? You don't have to walk. Nefarix leaned against a tree and tried to stretch the knots from his back. How can this stupid forest be so big? He muttered to himself. The moment the words tumbled from his mouth, the cacophony of insects sprang to life. Every imaginal form of bug, buzz click and his hiss roared out of the volume that rattled his teeth. Nefarix slapped his hands over his ear and screamed to be heard. Weiss, what's going on? Why, Nafari could see Weiss, Weiss's mouth moving, but he might as well have been shouting in a tornado. The insect screamed, the forest howled, and then just as Nafarix's ears seemed ready to tear from his head and go running for cover, the sound diminished. Hesitantly, he removed the hand from his left ear and listened to the creatures of the woods. Zri, 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 zri. Shaka, ka, ka, shaka, ka, 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 shaka, ka, 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 chika, chika, chi, chika, chika, chi, chika, chika, chi. Whoa, whoa, wooma, woo, woo, wooma. Shik, shik, seek, shik, 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 seek. As the incense symphony dimmed in another decibel, Nefarix began to detect patterns in the sound. This isn't random, he thought. It's not just white noise, it's something else. The insects weren't just calling out, they were asking a question. One, with it is a lacking. Two, with his ideal. Three, with it is dangerous. What is it? By my pages, is this a riddle? I guess so. I mean, I f feel sort of forced, but maybe it's the key to getting out of this place. And I leave it to you to answer. One, with it is lacking. Two, with it is ideal. Three, with it is dangerous. What is it? The answer is a secret. The answer. I want to say dream. The answer is a seesaw. How should I know? Oh, I get to choose. One, with it, it is lacking. Two, with it, it is ideal. It's a secret, alright. The forest undergrowth parted before opening a new path. These forest arthropods are making a road for us, said Weiss with glee. Pleased at passing the test, Nefarix moved on. With new intensity, the path offered his body relief from the undergrowth, but gave even greater cheer to his mind. As long as they were on the path, their journey had a purpose. I guess the forest has accepted us, huh? Said Nefarix after a bit. Why spun around to face his companion? Do not mistake the will of the forest for some happy pet you could suddenly befriend. We have no idea where this path leads. As Weiss finished speaking, the pair turned a corner and found themselves facing a clear forest. Spring, smiling Nefarix, picked up a small rock and sent it skipping across the surface of the water. Good heaven, said Weiss. His surprise was understandable. Each time the rock struck the surface of the water, a musical note rang out. When the rock finally stopped moving and sank to the bottom of the spring, the ripples it left behind came together to form words. I enter through the window, but break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. I'm assuming light. Now answer it. Nefarix grit his teeth and tried not to reach on Strangle's companion. He's right after all. This one is pretty easy. Sunlight. A plume of water suddenly burst from the spring. Sunlight filtered through the trees and reflected off the plume, creating a shimmering rainbow that spanned the entire horizon. In all my ears, said Weiss softly, I have never seen such a sight. Perhaps I have misunderstood the intentions of this place. Hey, look, cried Nefarix, awaking Weiss from his days. There's a house or something over there. Glancing in the direction of his friend's extended hand, Weiss saw a small cottage nestled around among the trees. That's weird, isn't it, Weiss? I mean, who would build a house all the way out here? Nefarix walked over and pounded on the door. After a minute of solid banging, the door cracked open and a small man peered out. His body was cloaked from neck to toe in a large black cape, while his face was obscured by mist, um, began Nefarix, but before he could go any further, the cloaked man held up a hand and began speaking. I have four legs in the morning and two at noon, but at the end of the night with three, what am I? 
Parx tried to ask the cloaked man who he was and what he was doing there, but he simply repeated the question. We wish to engage this man in conversation, said Weiss. It seems we must answer his riddle. Yeah, I suppose, said Nefarx. Well, at least it's an easy one. I have four legs in the morning and two at noon, but at the end of the night with three, what am I? I have four legs in the morning. An angel? to Google this one. dissolved from the cloak figure as he spoke a single word correct I didn't understand that one but the gist of it was like basically you have a walker and then you're a man and then you're a baby on all fours with that man flung his garment aside revealing his true identity you're the mare cried Nefarix the small man slowly shook his head I am not the mare you know now listen to my words long ago I saw a version of you that was not yourself uh, sorry what does that mean it will mis make sense in time. At present, I simply congratulate you on cracking the seal of the death stream. Now you must go in person to, at the forest entrance. With that, the man turned on his heel and slammed the door behind him. As the forex watched, mist seeped up from the ground and enveloped the cottage, erasing it from existence. When the forex and Weiss returned to the forest entrance, they found the mayor leaning against a tree. As soon as he caught sight of the duo, he sprang to his feet and scrambled over to them. Good gravy, he cried. You made it. You actually made it back. His left hand grasped the far axe and pumped it so fiercely it threatened to dislodge from the socket while the right seized Weiss by the cover and swung him through the air. God, by the heavens, stop shaking me, fool. We have not even told you if you were successful or not. The mayor smiled broadly and shook his head. I'm just happy you're alive. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. The far axe withdrew himself from the meagers with a slight sigh. He broke the death dream seal. He said, at least I think we did. The mare's face beamed at Nefarix, filled him in on the details. When the tale was done, the three of them laid down on the forest ground and fell asleep. Nefarix cocked his head. Okay, hang on a second. This is crazy. Why would we just lay down and go to sleep? Cease your endless prattle and go to sleep, fool. Fighting against the rules of this place is futility itself. Nefarix and the mare obediently reclined to taunt the grassy earth. Have you forgotten? Continue wise. It is words that control the death dream. Words that allow us to move from place to place. No matter how unnatural they seem, the words are absolute. Therefore, if the words tell us to sleep, then sleep we shall. And once we do, the story will continue. With that, the trio found their eyes growing heavy, their breathing slow. Uh, is this the 45 minute part? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't realize there was gonna be another 30 minutes of this, but we'll go ahead and call it a day here. Um, I will read you to sleep a good bedtime story, but catch us next time for tomorrow's episode. Thanks so much. See ya. Yeah, I made it to the story. Forest of Myth. It's the best. I mean, it, you're gonna have to memorize the story. Or you just look up the answers. This is what I did. The riddle? There's a, a couple riddles. I and solved all of them correctly. It was like a baby. What's what's on four legs when it first starts? I think I answered those correctly too. Is that on the hard one though? Oh, I gotta edit this. Oops. <laughs>